there's good news in this. It was there were six wins right before this. Yeah. Um, I mean, we can't forget that we've been playing great ball. Um, tonight was one of those nights that was really tough for us. Uh, a lot of things, uh, you know, going on, but we still thought we could have won this, tonight's game. And, um, and we know we have it in us to play better. So um, we the, the thing we're thankful for is that we get to come back tomorrow and um, give it a shot again. What was the kind of the thought process or strategy with you coming off the bench? Um, it was, you know, the way the, uh, you know, the management coach, um, the, the statisticians, the guys who do the minute stuff thought that would be best broken up that way for our team. Um, try a different, I guess, a different formula just to uh, mix it up and, um, and see if it could, it, it could work. So, um, like I told them in the beginning, I'm all, all I'm on board for whatever I have to do. You know, no ego. I'm just trying to win games and uh, right. do what we got to do. What was the idea that I mean, especially with, with Zach not here, if if they pushed it to like 18 or 20 by halftime or something, just kind of shut it down and save the minutes for tomorrow? Oh well, you know that that thought even never even came in my mind. Um, so you I have that their mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that was in their mind or not. You know. Um, I can't speak for him, but I know that uh, in, in my mind, I thought we were going to win the game. Yeah. So. Uh, Mike, um, you know, as you said, a lot going on. And, you know, everybody looks at you guys, you know, strictly as basketball players, but you're people too. Right. And you got a brother that's hurting. You know, as Coach already said no excuses, but it's hard to imagine a loss like that not affecting you guys, especially you guys that have been with him for so long. Um, well, of course, you know, it's, this game is a small part of our lives. Um, it's just it's so sad to see what happened um, to the Randolph family and we're all so close and um, you know when, when it happened and I called Z you know we cried on the phone together it was just you know emotional and um, and that doesn't leave you in 24 hours you know what I'm saying so um, I can't imagine what his family's feeling you know just prayers thoughts and prayers are all with them right now and, and we're just going to keep trying to move forward from this. Do you have a uh... Mama Randolph story of your own? Um, there's there's uh, so many. You know, she was at all the games and she was always, you know, she gave the biggest hugs. Um, and she just wouldn't, wouldn't let go. You know, mm-hmm. just would just would hold you as tight as possible. So, I mean, she was, uh, you know, a beautiful, strong person. And, um, you know, we were lucky to have her. Thank you, Mike.